everyone thank you so much for being here um not me announcing that we're going to do a cleaning series and then i experienced technical te technical difficulties but listen the devil is a liar by a fire by a force we are going to do this and this is our second video i will be continuing with the cleaning um i haven't um thoroughly cleaned my table in a while in a while i only just you know wipe there and there but i think we all know that the dust can stick to uh, furniture uh dust can stick it can, it can become somewhat sticky so i decided today that i'm going to wipe it with water soapy water to be precise just to get out the stickiness out of it i hope you guys are doing well i hope you um you are healthy and well and thank you once again for always coming back thank you to each and every one of you who gives my video a thumbs up share me out comment i appreciate every action that you give to this uh, uh to this channel because any action that you make youtube recognizes my videos and it helps that it pushes it helps youtube to recognize that actually people do like the videos and uh, it pushes them out and i truly 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 appreciate you and i'm still saying i hope you join me on this journey as we know i know it's going to be a struggle to get through it 30 day 30 videos is a lot of videos and but it's a challenge that i'm willing to take i'm up for it but i am also aware that i'm going to um experience a bit of difficulties then there i would ask you guys to bear with me and uh, you know uh, walk with me it, it's not going to be easy but i'm going to do it because this is something that i've been meaning to do and i think it's going to give me great pleasure once I completed it.
this window is another part of my house that is very difficult to deal with. I just don't know how to deal with. As you can see, the butlers on it are very small. And to put my hand in there cleaning it, it's, it's, it's tricky. I'm going to try and see if I cannot get a window cleaner that I can squeeze and then that is flexible. I don't know if there is such because most of them I know they are not flexible. They are just straight. But I need the one that is flexible that I can just stack it behind the butlers. But at the back of the butlers, it can cover enough space when I'm cleaning with it because I don't know how to clean it. And then outside as well, it's very high. So I cannot reach it as well. But I can try and minimize the dust by cleaning and wiping the butler. But it's also something that I don't get to very often, to be quite honest. But like I said, I'm going to try on this series to clean the things that I put away. The things that I say that, no, I'll get to it later. No, I'll do it. No, it's okay. You know, those type of things. Like my, my curtain rails. I don't know in how many months I haven't, uh, a duster hasn't touched there. So I'm trying with everything to make sure that I clean where I don't normally clean. Previously, I had that long duster. I bought from Abomalome those who sells and it used to be very easy for me to be able to to reach there. Now it broke. I don't think it was it was strong because they it's it's feathers and then they silo tape it I can so those feathers came out and now I'm left with the stock. But since it broke I haven't been able to to clean up there and I re I, I could see that that the the dust was piling up, so it's tricky now because now if I want to clean up there, I have to get on my step ladder and make sure that I clean, I clean everything. I don't know about you guys, but there's something about uh, our African or African, is it African broom? What do you call it? I know in Sizuluke, Umchangelo, and then Ronaka Stona Ribita, uh, it it reaches where you cannot reach like the corners like it's it's very good but i like the softer one for the house and i also like the hard one for outside when when you are sweeping the the yard another thing that is difficult to 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 clean is the corners honestly speaking when we have always known that I don't like cornies at the bottom of the of the of by the tile because it's very difficult to clean, especially if it's uh, it's white. The one that we had at my pre my our previous place our flat, it was a wooden one. Still, it was it it. It was a hassle. It harbors dust. I don't like something that that harbors dust. Now imagine when it is white and then uh, it harbors dust and it shows that there's dust on it. I did not see when I was so in love with this house when we bought it that I did not even see that it had it had cornies. Cornies is a lot of work, guys. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's a lot of work to clean. It's a lot of kneeling and 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 I feel like when you're using the mop, it's it makes it even more dead here. Do you understand? But I I think I just think that in South Africa we are far behind with things like this. I have seen in in the American uh, content creators, um, they have sponges some sort of sponges that i i divided that you can just run they have a handle that you can run through your cornies like that i haven't seen anything like that in south africa and i think things like that really 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 make a difference a huge difference in cleaning because kneeling is not nice 
kneeling is not nice and i was actually thinking that when we were growing up how easy it was to just kneel and polish and scrub the floor you know we used to put polish and then you will have to go back and scrub the polish and then use the cloth to to make it shine and it was so easy for us to do but as you grow old <laughs> Especially my body size, uh, kneeling is it's kneeling is something else. So cornice is not my favorite thing, but my house have a lot of cornice. I think it's it was done throughout the entire house, except on the passage and the bathroom. But our bedroom, my bedrooms, the the the, the living room and the and the dining, it has cornice and the passage. That is going to the bathroom. That is that is in the living room and dining. It has cornice. The only one that doesn't have cornice that has tile is the one by the by the bathrooms and the and the bedrooms. I don't mind tile. You can you can just run your mop there, but cornice, guys. Ha, <laughs> I. This is my kitchen after a few days since I cleaned it the other day. I must say I'm proud of myself because it is not as dirty as it normally gets. So we have tried, all of us. Though it's tense, some people don't like it because I, I have to kind of, I wouldn't say police, but... I have to always say, mm -mm, pick that up, mm -mm, don't leave that there, mm -mm, do this, you know, those type of things. If people are not used to that, it can get annoying to them, but um, it has helped. I We haven't done dishes, I haven't done dishes like I normally do dishes 
in a while because I make sure that Theo, I've been making sure that Theo unloads the dishwasher and whatever we use, we put in the dishwasher. We don't put anything on top of, we don't put our dishes on the sink or whatever. And then the pots, after using them, I make sure that I wash them. So it might not, it has a lot of things on top at this moment. The shop right, the shop right plaque plastic it's for it has bread that's going to be our dinner we are going to attempt to make water tonight if i can i will upload the shot of it i i i shot it in portrait not landscape so and then the bucket is steam so everything that is there is things that i'm going to use for today and then federe is the other one it's my my tripod and the water that i'm using and the water that i'm drinking so that's like it's been great it's been great so i'm also showing you guys that as much as i am cleaning the dining area before i could i can finish i also have to go back to the kitchen to continue maintaining wiping as long as there are no dishes on top of the sink, then I wipe the surfaces. I wipe where I feel that they are, our fingers are too visible and making sure that I maintain the space that I had already cleaned while continuing with the one that I am cleaning presently. So today I was cleaning the dining area. See how sparkly it still is. I'm so proud of myself. So while continuing with what the dining area, I'm still, before I can continue, before I can end my cleaning, I have to go back and maintain the kitchen because that's something that I had done and it, that I had cleaned already. And it did not even take me more than 10 minutes to wipe the surfaces. Now, because I want to, I want to, to sweep the floor of the dining area, I'm going to start by the kitchen, sweep the floor of the dining area, of the kitchen and the dining area, and then wipe the floor, mop the floor. Do you understand? So there isn't, there isn't anything that is going to be left behind. I'm not going to focus on the dining and neglect the kitchen. And then it, it, if I do that, this thing is not going to work the way I want it to work. And I'm pretty sure that at this point, I really don't, I'm not making sense, but it will all make sense as time goes on. But at this point, if you are listening to me, you probably think what gibberish is she saying, but it will make sense as time goes on. That's all I can say.
barefooted so most of the time majority of the time my feet underneath are not that clean and i wear flops so if you are checking them out i ask you guys now nah, when i'm home i'm just so thank you so much for being here i'm quickly just going to wipe the remaining space on the dining area and i'll i'll run through with the with the broom and the mop throughout the living room to all the way to the bathroom and the passages just to make sure that we don't take dirt from that side to the side but i'm not deep cleaning them i'm just wiping the floors so that it the kitchen is clean the dining and the living and the other spaces thank you for watching